How's it going guys? It's Jordan here with another video. I just want to start off by saying I do not promote half reps. Full range of motion should always be in the back of your mind when you get into the gym to lift some weight. However, this video is going to be slightly about shortening the range of motion when it comes to your bench press. So for a few weeks now uh, while I've been doing the bench press again this came about because I recorded my own footage and I noticed that I was locking my elbows out as you guys can see in this footage I was locking my elbows out at the very top of the movement you can see that my elbows actually kind of really bent inward so my upper arm is sort of trying to go in and my forearm is trying to go out and it's almost creating a divot in my elbow at the top of the movement. Now generally I'd say you know full range of motion is going to get you more muscle activation but when you think about it for the bench press when you're coming up with the weight if you don't fully lock out your elbows the difference between the muscle activation just before lockout and at lockout is pretty much the same in the chest if you can see in these clips I'm not locking out fully however you can still see that my arms are pretty much you know getting to the top of the movement and pretty much straight but when you compare these reps where I'm not locking out to my lockouts if you put these photos side by side you can see that there's a definite difference again just like in my first video between the two pictures and so what the lockouts gonna do is it's gonna put a lot of pressure on those on your elbow joints and that's not a good thing because that's gonna lead to things like elbow tendonitis or other kind of elbow injuries so I've found that what you want to do is just before you get to the lockout, just stop. So you will notice while you're benching that your elbows aren't quite extended fully and locked out. But as I say, from someone else looking in, it's going to look like you're still using full range of motion. And for the most part, you're still getting all of that chest activation. The only thing you might miss out on by not fully locking out is getting some tricep activation now I mean if you think about it the triceps are an important part of the bench press to get as much power as you can but in reality you don't need to lock out to get full chest activation once again guys I am not saying that half reps are something you should do in the gym full range of motion is ideal most of the time but there's no point doing full range of motion here when it's maybe a couple of centimeters difference and when that difference could lead to an injury so make sure next time you're in the gym hitting some chest that you try this tip I think it'll really help you get better chest activation and you'll actually I've found at least that you have a better chest pump and that you actually feel more fatigue in your chest by stopping just before lockout to really activate those pec muscles and have them activating the entire movement some people say you get a bit of a rest at the top if you do lockout I'm not sure that really is the case because you then have to re-engage the muscle as you bring it back down so it's kind of gonna cancel out any rest that you might get but everyone is entitled to their own opinion I think you guys should try this anyway it's always worth trying new things in the gym just to see how it goes and of course you can apply this to any chest movement you can apply it to some incline pressing or some machine pressing as you've seen in the footage make sure you're not quite locking out but make sure you're still getting maximum chest activation for those gains once again guys before I let you go 
make sure you check out that shred challenge on musculastrength.com 12 weeks long lots of great prizes definitely worth signing up i'll provide a link to the challenge page itself down below as well as a link to a one month free membership on musculastrength.com so make sure you check those out i'll be linking those three fitness channels again michael corey fitness scott herman fitness and goku flex in the description below if you didn't check them out make sure you do and also if you didn't happen to see my last video I will either provide a link on the screen or in the description below so that you guys can head back and take a look at that I appreciate the support so far guys thanks a lot more videos will be coming soon I will see you guys in that next one